philosophy of the Romanian Academy. Her talk is Fine Sediment Source and Coal Mining, Spatial and Temporal uh, Interference. Gabriela, you can start your talk. Uh, good, good morning or good afternoon to, to everybody. I hope my uh, my talk will be found as interesting and as, as yours because it is um, not only spatial but also uh, uh, laboratory based. So uh, the, the talk of today is uh, about how a coal uh, industry or how a declining industry can provide new directions of research in geography. Um, we are in uh, Eastern uh, Europe, uh, in Southeastern Europe, in Romania, a post-communist country of almost 20 million uh, people, with um, uh, industry declining over the last uh, decades uh, after communism fall. Um, today's example is the coal industry uh, proliferating in the communist time, uh, which is still a source of electricity for, for Romania, but uh, very harmful for the environment and perhaps less intuitively for our rivers. And owing to the fact that there was uh, a decrease in mining operations, uh, the importance of coal extractions uh, have also decreased. Um, but uh, despite this, uh, this fading, uh, coal particles represent a legacy in our um, uh, river uh, alluvial sources. And this, this can be observed uh, everywhere uh, in, the, in the watersheds. So uh, the watershed of our study, uh, Jiu River Basin, is located in southwestern Romania. It's a Carpathian watershed, a uh, Danubian uh, environment, with two distinct uh, coal mining areas in the upper sector between the coal mines and in the uh, middle sector, uh, a lignite open pit mines. Um, also, uh, we can see here um, within the last 40 years of uh, coal uh, ex exploitation, uh, activities have led to significant changes in topography and the formation of uh, new areas supplying fine sediments uh, of anthropogenic origin. So we have to map this and take this into account spatially in terms of sources of sediments for our river. Um, so. The main questions would be, uh, of course, in, uh, about space and time. So space would be, uh, where do all those sediments of uh, mixed origin anthropogenic and natural come from? And in terms of time, uh, at which moments, any time or just uh, within, uh, during the um, most, the major flood events, um, those um, um, sediments are delivered in our watershed. So of course we can only trace this by sampling um, coal, uh, by sampling alluvial um, sediments and bulk coal uh, sediments, and um, uh, try to find key uh, source areas uh, in our uh, watershed. Among the methods we use, of course, there are many others. Uh, we, we, um, we worked with uh, organic petrology, so not only geographical and hydrological approaches. Uh, to, to spot the two species of coal, uh, between us coal and lignite coal. Uh, we found different granulometries in the alluvial layers um, of our rivers. Um, we also uh, tried uh, to, um, uh, to spot some geochemical traces uh, in our samples and to find uh, resemblances between uh, our uh, sediments uh, from out, upstream and from downstream to, to try to um, uh, spatially connect uh, the sources and the sinks of our sediments. Uh, just as a glimpse of our results, uh, we can infer the approximate source areas uh, within our watershed. Uh, we see here the uppermost um, uh, deposit, uh, deposited uh, layer in uh, the downstream part of our sh uh, watershed, uh, which has uh, uh, typical characteristics in terms of uh, coal species of uh, the most important sediment layers, uh, sediment um, um, contributions of, of, uh, of the watershed sub, sub catchments and other geochemical factors. So um, the, um, the lessons uh, for, for home would be that uh, even with limited conditions, with, uh, with limited uh, data that we have and low cost measures, uh, we can um, uh, work together, uh, put uh, at work together all, all those uh, different sources of information, uh, geography, uh, geographical space and time, um, uh, flood events and different laboratory techniques to try uh, get closer and closer to the uh, new uh, sources of sediments anthropogenically uh, formed. Uh, I hope uh, my presentation was of interest for you, um, and uh, I'm uh, I'm very happy to to answer to any questions uh, you might have. Thank you very much for uh, for listening.